Hey fellow train fans, Josh the Train Fan here with something rather unusual. I mean, of course, there's a nice little Walters box right here, but there's also a second one. <laughs> and it contains a bag and four containers, supposedly. So we're going to unbox this right now. And then I'm going to assemble that thing right over here and try to show you guys how to do it. So, and of course, who would I be if I didn't collect a few freight cars from this order? That's the packing slip, that's not the box discussion. All right, let's see what we got. So first off, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little tired. So first of all, We have a nice Northwestern Oklahoma opera window center beam. I picked up two more center beams for the last two remaining free lumber loads that I got from the very first order I placed. Let me put these back in here. So we're gonna switch my center beam deal up a bit. Get a few more opera windows because they're starting to run out of their 50 year limits. If you don't know what I mean by that, check out AAR Rule 90. All right, let's get this one now. And this one is another TTX opera window. I mean, we're all quite familiar with these, but of course I'll still show off the nice opera window detail. Nice underside rigging there. Another good car. I'll put that aside and we can unbox some of the new stuff that I got. Some of the unfamiliar stuff that I haven't unboxed yet. Ah, this is going to be fun. This is a good one. This may be a railgun gondola, but it's very much different than the others. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. This is a nice, beautiful SP gondola. It's the round of the last SP gondolas that they actually got, too. Let's take a look on the underside. Still got a nice amount of uh, brake rigging right around here. You get the 90-pound air cylinder, like on all cars. You got all the nice brake wiring in here. Beautiful, beautiful car. <clears throat> I put this back in here. And then I have two cars left before I show you guys just how to put those boxes together. All right, here we go. This is going to be a good one. All right, so here we have a nice Trinity 39-foot two-bay cement hopper. And it was the only one left on, on the Walther's website. So I figured, hey, why not pick it up? I keep seeing these all everywhere. Let's take a look at this thing. So let's see. You got the nice amount of detail right there. I'm not exactly sure what this wiring's for here, but it's still really cool. The more detail, the better. Let's take a look at the underside here. Actually, let's look at the other side here. So you got the 90-pound air cylinder in there. You got all the brake rigging in, in the side of this car. Oh, this is beautiful. This is a really nicely done car. I think this one's newly tooled. All right, let's get the last car. And this is going to be a good one. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, this is gonna be perfect. All right, let's take a look at this 57 foot Trinity three bay grain hopper decorated for the SLSF. I keep seeing SLSF hoppers around here and I figured why not get one? I might try to throw in a 
picture of one at the end here. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work, but I'll see if I can do something with that. So let's take a look at what we got here. We got, I noticed right away, we've got two different fonts right here. On the end, we got what looks like Railroad Roman, and on this end, we got Helvetica lettering. I think that's what that is. Let's take a look at the underside here. So you've got some nicely detailed hatches under here. Oh, wow, this is great. So you take a look at inside here. We got another, let me back up, another nice amount of detail here. Oh, man, this is, this is a gorgeous car. And then we got, yet again, the 90-pound air cylinder right in there with all the nice brake rigging. Oh, man, these are really nice cars. And this is brand new, too. This was just a recent release. Absolutely beautiful. All right, now the uh, the unboxing part is pretty much done. I have one thing left to unbox, and that's the carrying case and the four boxes. And when I do that, I'm going to show you guys all how to simply simply how to assemble it. I don't know how to do it either, but the instructions are going to be there, and I'm going to use those to show you how to do it, if that makes any sense at all. Get this box out of the way. I'll put this in the frame here. Let me move all these cars out of the way. Then I can shove these on the layout for testing in a hot second. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna try to unbox this massive thing and uh, see what I can get in out of it. That's not gonna work. Oh, got to be careful with the table. Oh, wow, look at all this. Ah. All right. This is the nice bag. It's going to help carry the stuff. Oh, this is great. I'm going to put this aside for now. And then I can assemble all these boxes. Wow, look at all this. All right, these are most certainly the lids, so I'll put these aside for now. Oh, careful with the gondola. Let's see, let's drag all this styrofoam out. This is the foam covering for the, uh, for the insides of the boxes. Now, if I'm correct, there might be some instructions in here on how to do this. I'm not quite sure. Maybe they're in the bag. Nope. Can't feel them. Okay, new plan. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm going to try to assemble these myself and see how I can do it. I might even grab one of my other boxes at this point. I think you have to go at it like this. I'm not quite sure, but I think you go like this. I do not see any instructions on how to do this. I got the scissors. Wow, this is tough. Stop, stop. Man, I cannot do this right away. Give me a second to look for a few things and I'll see what I can do. All right, so, so far I'm figuring out how to assemble the lids. So for the lids, you'd want to fold this up and fold these little panels here in like this and then fold this part the end part over the top of the other flaps and just shove it in like this the lids are really simple the boxes are not That's two lids down. 
If I can keep them together, that is. I'm gonna keep assembling the lids like this. I'll hopefully be able to get the boxes. That thing came right apart. <laughs> These are not easy systems to assemble, I can tell you that much. And that's it for the lids. Now that the lids are all done, I just gotta figure out how to assemble the actual boxes. All right guys, now that I finally located the instructions, I can actually show you all how to assemble this box. I've done the other three already, but I just figured I'd do the one because <laughs> it'd be a little less time. So what you're gonna wanna do is fold this section up here, this fold right in the middle here, there's three pieces. This is the one you're gonna to wanna to fold first on both sides. Then you're gonna to wanna to fold this white piece up so it balances the whole thing out on the bottom, like this. Then you're gonna to wanna to fold these flaps inward on both sides, of course. And then fold these flaps inward on the outer rim. Hold it together, come on. These are so hard to assemble. Sweater. And that is the outer shell of your box. So now what we're gonna wanna do is the hard part, getting the actual storage units in there. Excuse me. So you're gonna wanna have the white side up and you're gonna wanna fold at every crease except for the solid crease. You don't wanna fold there. That's the divider in which the cards will be stored, like this. Now, warning, they are very hard to grab sometimes. And that's how you assemble your dividers, ladies and gentlemen. So let's put the dividers in the box now. Now let's watch how I do this. I'm gonna put it this way. It takes a struggle to get these things in here. Okay, now that that's done, we can lay our foam pieces inside to protect our cars. And 
there you have it, folks. That is how you assemble the PPW A-Line Hobby Tote System. That is how you assemble the boxes. Now let's see if we can get them in the bag. I'm gonna take the one I just assembled and shove it in here first. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you assemble a hobby tote system boxes and bag. Let's lock it up, and then I'm gonna head back to the room so I can start operating the brand new cars on a test run. They're already back there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you assemble a Proto Power West A line hobby tote system. Now let's head back to the room and see what these new cars are like on the layout. All right, guys, I think that's probably the perfect place to end today's video. If you enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, share this one, especially with all the rail fans you know, especially the ones who are wanting to get a hobby tote system in the near future. <laughs> anyway, hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.